An Austin police officer was fired after the chief says he ignored a 911 call to go on his dinner break. The man he was asked to help later committed suicide. All new at 5, Chris Sadegi has more on this case and how officers are trained to help in situations like it. In a perfect scenario, doctors would be there all the time for those with mental illness, but in the line of duty, sometimes it's left to police officers. Not too long ago, the academy, police academy, started um, requiring some specific training on mental health. Abraham Menares with the Austin Travis County Integral Care helps train officers on care for mental health patients, but in September, a call for that care was neglected, according to Chief Art Acevedo. According to a memorandum from the chief, on September 17th at 721, Keith McCook, an eight-year veteran of the force, arrived to a call for assistance to speak to a man whose family had expressed concerns. Two minutes after McCook left without writing a report, but at 731 when the man's wife called police again raising even more concerns about the man's well-being, a dispatcher sent even more officers to the home. It's our job to evaluate first and see if, if further resources are necessary. McCook apparently didn't feel that they were, and moments after officers were dispatched, McCook called them off, and after a conversation with the subject's wife over the phone, went on his lunch break at 8.02 without going back to the home to check on the man. When his commander ordered him to go do one more check, McCook returned more than an hour after the last dispatch. When no one answered the door, he left without doing a thorough search of the home. A day later, relatives found the man dead in that backyard, and he'd shot himself in the head. Because the police force is so large that it's a constant trying to educate. Chief Acevedo says dinner plans interfered with McCook's ability to call for the appropriate care. He was suspended in 2005 after a dishonesty allegation, and he plans to appeal his firing, leaving it up to an arbitrator to determine if he gets his job back. Chris Sadegi, KXAN, Austin News.